Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am packing for vacation. We are headed to the beach. I cannot wait. School is out. It's time for summer vacation with the family and I just plan on lounging at the pool and the beach for a full week. And as you do before you go on vacation, you sometimes go shopping. So I picked up a few new things that I wanted to share with you mixed in with some other things that I own that are just perfect for summer beach vacations. This video is sponsored by Nordstrom. Thank you Nordstrom once again for partnering with me on another video. Every time I go on vacation, Nordstrom is one of my go-to places, especially if it's a family beach vacation because they have such a great range of affordable options mixed in with some high-end luxury options that maybe I might pick for myself. Whenever we go on a family trip and especially a beach vacation, Nordstrom is my go-to place for essentials for our trip because they have such a great range of designer, luxury, high-end options that I might like for myself, as well as some more affordable and contemporary brands that I might get for my kids and for my husband. So for this trip, I picked up a few new items and I wanted to share with you some of the new things I got mixed in with some things that I love and just pretty much always bring every time we go to the beach. The first is kind of a mix of both. It's new to me, but it's something that I've always used and it is the base cosmetic case. Now I already own the base cosmetic case. I own this in two other colors in black and a limited edition pink, but they've made a few changes to it and I wanted to go ahead and just get the newer version. So I still own the black one that keeps nail polishes in my bathroom and then I have a limited edition pink one that I use just for my like everyday makeup at home, but I wanted the newer version because this one is a little easier to clean and it's just, I think, better for travel. So first of all, one of the changes they made is to the handle itself. It has this movable handle with this updated gold hardware. This is it completely brand new, so you see what it looks like when it's packaged. And again, the material is easier to clean versus the older one was more of like a rubbery material, so it shows scuffs. I probably didn't need to get a new one, but I just wanted to. <laughs> So when you open it up, it has the brush flap here. This is also different because this attaches with a magnet versus the old one I have has snap that you have to like physically snap on. So this is just a lot easier, you know, magnetizes in place. There's a mirror that goes in here. So when you get a brand new one, the mirror is safely packaged in here in bubble wrap. So you can see here it is very safe. I love the base mirror that's part of the cosmetic case because it's so large and it's so easy to do a full face of makeup in the morning. You just fold it over like that and then it stays upright so you can do your full face. It slides in right here. And then again, this part comes out. You keep your brushes in the pocket. It has an elastic strap to keep it intact. And then it has this plastic cover so that it doesn't get anything else dirty. And then inside you have a slip pocket here and then two more slip pockets here. So I like to keep tweezers and maybe bobby pins and you know little things like that in here. And then this pocket on the other side of the brush flap is perfect for, I like to keep cotton rounds and like a face mask and stuff in there. And then you have this huge compartment for everything else. I like the big open compartment because I've had other cosmetic case organizers where it's little compartments. And for me, it's just more annoying. Those kinds of organizers and dividers, I just kind of like to throw my stuff in here and it's just easier for me to get ready and then easier to pack it up when you're ready to go. So I'm glad that I have this brand new container. My tip for these base bags, if you want to make sure that they won't get crushed in your luggage, keep the little cardboard here on the side. This is a really nice like stiff cardboard. This way nothing gets crushed. I especially recommend this for the weekender bag, which I will probably also bring on this trip. Okay, and speaking of the base weekender, here we are packed and ready to go. I have it here in the black in the full size weekender. And then I also have my other bag, the Longchamp expandable duffel. I finally figured out the best way to pack. <laughs> I love the weekender because it has this bottom compartment. It's very structured and I've done a total review of this, so check that out. But this is where I keep all my shoes. And because it's a beach trip, I don't have any like heavy shoes or sneakers. Um, I just have slides and some nice sandals. So they all fit here on the bottom. And then I have my like nicer purse. I have my Chanel 19 also packed in here. And then inside is where I keep all my cosmetic bags. So this is where I will have the base cosmetic case in here. I'll have my other toiletry bag. This is like the cosmetics, makeup, toiletry, accessories situation. And then in the larger Longchamp expandable duffel, this is actually where I keep my clothes. And I love this because it's softer. I specifically have it packed so that all my clothes are arranged in packing cubes. The packing cubes I use on this trip are the CalPak 
packing cubes. These come in a bunch of different colors. I have it here in this marble color. I think it's available in black and brown. I love that this has a mesh panel for the clothes. It has a top handle and it has a little zip pocket on the back. And then if you want to write on cards, it has a little 3D like see-through panel so you can write, you know, the type of, you know, workout or tops, bottoms, whatever. Some people like to pack with the day of the week. So you, know, you can do it that way but these are perfect because once they are packed and ready to go they just stack so nicely in here especially for road trips i love to bring this because they fit so well in the car this kind of can smush into little spaces so this is my luggage situation and then for my bag i have the mark jacobs tote bag this is the medium size i think when i first got it just like with the dior tote bag they came out with more sizes. So I am pretty sure that when I first got this, this was the small, but now that they've come out with a mini, this is now the medium and then they have a small and then a mini, I don't know, <laughs> but this is the medium size. I love this I, with this one. Also, I've done a full review, but this is a perfect bag when you are running around, when you're going to the pool, going to the beach, it's very sturdy and structured, but it's still kind of soft with the canvas. It has these very stiff top handles here. It's got a crossbody strap and it zips completely closed. And it still has a bunch of pockets in here to slip your cell phone and other stuff. And it has an interior zip pocket. So I just love this. So this fits a ton, but it's not that big. And it's just great when I am running around with my kids on vacation. I'm not going to highlight every single little thing I'm bringing <laughs> on this trip because that would take forever, but I just wanted to highlight some of the most important things that are so crucial when you are going to the beach. I'll be taking the kids to the pool. You know, we'll be there for over a week. So for sure, my number one summer essential is sunglasses. I love these ones from Tom Ford. I have been wearing these nonstop. I switched between this and my Fendi logo sunglasses, which have the F kind of Zuka and brown all over the lens. But I just love these Tom Ford ones. I just think that they're so much more sleeker. They go with everything. It's got the little gold T right there on the sides. It doesn't catch my hair on the arms, which is important. And I just have been wearing this nonstop. I love these. One item I cannot live without throughout the summer are these Zella bike shorts. I have this in multiple colors. I own this black exact style. Like I have several of these. I just rotate them out as I wash them because they have this essential side pocket that fits my phone. And I have a huge phone. I have the Apple iPhone 14 Max uh, Pro Max with a case that lights up. So it's a really bulky case. This fits so seamlessly and I can still run around the house and do everything I need to. So I just love these. This is actually what I wear in the car during our road trip so that when we're hopping out, you know, stopping at gas stations, I don't have to bring my whole purse. I just can keep my phone and then my wallet on the other side. So love these and I will probably get this in more colors. And then my favorite pair of summer sandals are the Birkenstocks. I got this, I forget the exact name of it, but it's the one with the brown kind of a cork material and then the black rubber sole and then the black leather upper and black buckles. I think they make different versions where you can choose buckles with silver or, or gold, I think, or all black. I love this one. I did have to size up. I usually wear a size six, maybe six and a half. I actually got the 37 and they are just so soft. It's like already pre-molded to fit your foot and they are just so comfy. Love these. And then for jewelry, once again, I am bringing my David Yurman cable bracelet. This is the skinnier one. I love stacking this bracelet. I like to stack it on my right wrist with my bracelets. I like to stack it on my left wrist with my watches. I just think it's so pretty. It has the silver and the yellow gold little bands on both ends. I'm considering getting the thicker bracelet so I can just continue that stack on both sides maybe but I'm really liking the thinner one. I think if you had been considering a David Yurman bracelet, but you thought the other cable bracelets were kind of chunky, they do have this thinner version and it just goes with everything. I love wearing this. And then I couldn't help going into the store. They have an incredible summer sale going on right now. So I picked up this pair of open edit sandals that were on sale for just, I mean, it was so affordable. I couldn't pass it up. I don't know the style name, but I just love this style. I love that it is like a block angled heel. It's so comfy on, it's got this knot front and these just hug your feet on the sides. They are so comfy, it's so flattering. I got it in the beige color. It's also available in black 
And you guys, these were on sale for only $39. I just, I couldn't say no. I tried it on and I just really like it. It's got a very comfy and chunky heel. These are so cute because I, I tend to wear a lot of flats during the summer, but you know, occasionally I like to dress up a little bit, but I still have to be able to run after my four-year-old. So I literally, like I ran in the store when I tried them on, I could, I could run. So they passed the mom test for me. So I decided to pick them up, but I will link these below. I, I already posted these to my Instagram uh, when I was considering getting it and they're so cute. So these will be my dressy pair of shoes for this trip. These open edit sandals. All right, guys. So that is everything that I am packing for this week long beach vacation. Let me know what are your essentials for your summer beach pool vacation. I feel like I often rotate through the same tried and true essentials, but I also like to see what else is new out there. So let me know what are your picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.